Kickstarting the bulletin with some breaking news coming in. A huge fire has broken out at the Duwada Special Economic Zone near Vizag in Andhra Pradesh. The blaze erupted in the complex of a chemicals company last night and is still not under control. More than 40 fire tenders have been rushed to the spot and units from Navy have also joined in on the efforts. According to district authorities, of the 18 biodiesel and raw material tanks in the complex, 12 have caught fire and are still burning. The HRD Minister of Andhra Pradesh, the District Magistrate as well as the Commissioner of Police are at the site supervising the operations. T.S. Sudhir, editor of the South, joins us over the phone lines. Sudhir, first of all, if you could get us the latest updates on what's really happening in Vizag. Well, uh, this fire has been raging for uh, over 12 hours now. And uh, uh, they have, they'll have to really wait till evening because the entire biofuel has to run out. And most of the tanks had about 30 to 70 percent capacity of the entire capacity of about 2,300 metric tons mm -hmm. per tank. So as of now, they have been able to save six tanks, but in the remaining uh, 12 tanks, uh, it has got fired and they are really waiting for the fire to burn out. So as far as, uh, as many as 40 fire engines, 20 from the state government and about 20 others from different agencies that include the Navy, which is stationed in Vishakhapatnam, also the Vizag Port Trust, the HPCL, the Vizag Steel Plant, they've all been present to service. Uh, as you mentioned, the senior officials, including both the Commissioner of Vizag City and the Collector, are also at the spot to ensure that nothing untoward happens. No casualty is reported, but yes, uh, only after the fire is completely put out, they'll be able to find out as to what caused the fire. But they right. estimated so there, so there, I request you to stay on with us. Joining us now over the phone line is the District Collector, Mr. N. Yuvaraj. Mr. Yuvaraj, uh, this fire we understand has been raging on for the last 12 hours. How long do you think this will continue before you can actually bring this under control? As Sudhir was pointing out, we understand that you're waiting first for that fuel to uh, 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 end, for the fuel to get over. See, basically, there are, there are the, out of 18, 18 tanks available in this particular biomax unit in the VSC of Duwara, Vizag, 20 units got fire from yesterday night around 7.30 p.m. And almost 45 engines have been mobilized, and we got homes, uh, almost 10,000 uh, litres of homes from various units located here. And we could prevent the six uh, storage unit of uh, finished products from getting fired. So that is the one, one savings, and luckily there was no casualty and no injury. Okay. And, uh, and now, uh, in the expected rate, because uh, uh, almost the quantity whatever available would have been burning, burned out so far, and we could be able to contain it and the situation under control now. Hmm. We are expecting that by, by late afternoon or early evening, right? the entire thing will be fully doused. Okay. Okay. And we we are we are not waiting for the we are not waiting for the complete burning out. Basically, we we we, we because wherever we are able to reach, we have reached close to the close to that burning point. Right? Okay. Once we are able to get sufficient uh, sufficient access and other things, we will be able to able to fully douse it. As of now, as I am telling that the situation is fully under control. And so, be able Mr. To Mr. Yuraj, also one, one, one quick uh, question from you, which is, uh, at this point, are you only taking a wait and watch policy or are you also taking steps? What are the kind of steps that are being taken by the fire officials present there and the Navy there to control that fire? See, control the fire, is you cannot go through from the over the air, spraying of uh, foam is not possible. So, foam is not because we don't have facility as of now anywhere. So, now we are doing through the ground only. So under the district fire officer, we have got supply from Navy and we are taking the, uh, with the consultation of all technical people available here, we could be able to control it to this extent. So it is okay. a combined effort of all the people and we are going on the right path. All right. Mr. Yuvraj, thank you for speaking to India Today. I'll also uh, take in a quick question from uh, Sudhir. Sudhir, uh, we do know that 12 of those 18 biofuel tanks are up in flames. Uh, the big problem here is that that fire could spread to the remaining six biofuel tanks. So that is also a big worry. Well, that would be a worry, but as of now, uh, the people who are technically qualified, they say that they have ensured that the fire does not spread to the other um, uh, units uh, which are there, which have not uh, got on fire. So foam is being used in large quantities. Uh, the big uh, loss would be because the loss is estimated to be in the range of about 120 crore rupees to this biomass full plant at the Duwada uh, SEZ, which is in the Shakapatam district. So that is quite a huge a loss and uh, only after the fire has been completely put out, they'll be able to find out the reason why this huge fire took place. 
All right, uh, Sudhir, uh, thanks for joining us uh, with those details. A massive fire they're breaking out at uh, a biofuel plant in Vizag. We understand that 12 of them have caught fire. At this point, the Navy's also joined in in helping the fire department in controlling that blaze. Uh, and they're waiting, of course, for that fuel to end. So possibly by this evening is when we'll see that fire completely being brought under control, being doused out. Dramatic visuals coming to light there from Vizag. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has constituted a committee under the Transport Minister of Rajasthan, Yunus Khan and all state transport ministers to submit a report on a bill to make... <laughs>